Hey guys, Nick here with Nightlife Kennel, coming at you with another coon hunting quick tip. Now today we're talking about the five essential things that someone who's looking to get into coon hunting or a youth, you're going to need to get started in this sport. Now, some of these things just kind of come without saying, but I get people asking me this question all the time, so we're going to go through them, and I'm going to go through them in a little bit of detail. Now, what's the number one thing you need to have to go coon hunting? You need a coon dog. Now, we can make a whole new video just on uh, how to buy a coon dog, and we're going to make that, but generally you're going to need just a coon dog. Now, you can have the world champ dog, or you can have the pleasure hunter that hits coon half the time that it trees it's got the meat. That's up to you, and it's all according to how much money you want to spend. But uh, spend your time wisely researching into whether you want a star dog or a pup, and uh, research into what one's going to cost. I mean, you can get dogs for couple hundred bucks or you know you can give them up to several thousand dollars um, one thing i will tell you guys if you're looking for a started or even a finished dog and uh, it's not at least a thousand dollars um you know you may be looking at kind of something that somebody's trying to pass off of something it's not um, it's just a general rule it's not you know set in stone but kind of something to think about kind of one of the things generally you get what you pay for now another thing you're going to need once you get the coon dog is you need a good quality collar like this one right here go on the dog and you need a nameplate. Now, there's several different kinds. This is a slip-on nameplate. You can get some that are riveted on. And this needs to specify exactly what your name is. And it needs your phone number. And what I also like to do is I like to put a phone number of a friend or family member. Just in case they call my number and they do not reach me. They can reach my friend who can maybe get in touch with me or go pick up my dog. You do this in case you're out hunting and your dog gets lost. This right here is the very basic security measures you need to take in order to retrieve a dog when you're hunting in the woods if they get lost another thing you need to do just looking into the very basics of things you need to invest in a good lead now this right here is very basic it's just a leather lead they make them that are nylon they make them that are cables now and there's all kinds of different materials but you need a good lead to go with a good collar that the dog wears all the time this is even what they keep on in the kennel and this is what you lead them to them from the woods or to do exercising or training activity so a good collar and a lead that's number two now number three you want to make sure you got a really good light now you can go wild or you can go mild you can start out with something simply as a walmart from flashlight it's going to get you through the woods it's going to find coons get you in and out this can be done this was done for years and years and years with just an old walmart flashlight so you don't have to spend a pile of money i don't know what these are 20 or 30 bucks that'll get you in the woods and get you started coon hunting now of course if you want to go professional on this whole deal um, you need a really nice cap light or belt light. This right here is a big dog. This is what I wear and this is what I use. Um, but there's so many brands out there. You've got Big Dog, you've got Sunspot, Bright Eyes, Superior. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So research, look at the different features if you want to get into this. Um, and you go ahead and plan on spending between $250 to you know, $350 for a good quality light with a good warranty. Um, you know, but there's several out there. They're all making great lights. Um, but this is what, you know, if you're really going to get heavy into coon hunting, this is probably the way you end up going is with a good quality coon hunting cap light built specifically for coon hunting. Now, the next thing you need is you need a good quality tracking system. You need to know where your dog is at all times. Um, this right here is a Sport Dog brand unit, Tech 2.0. Um, Garmin makes unit, Daltra makes unit. There's a couple other companies. Basically, you get a tracking GPS collar that sends a signal to a handheld that you keep on yourself. The dog takes this and goes hunting, and you'll see on the screen where you are and the dog is on all times. That way, you can keep track of your dog and get your dog in and out of the woods, and you can get yourself in and out of the woods now you can go with something brand new system or you can go on facebook a lot of groups and stuff and pick up these used systems generally i mean you can get an old garmin used system that still works and will get you in and out of the woods and help you find your dog for 200 250 dollars or you can go with some of the brand new stuff that runs 800 dollars. it's up to you but you can go mild or you can go wild but i highly recommend you don't cut it all loose without a good tracking system on it now the last thing you're going to need to goon hunt i can't show you but I'll tell you, you need land and lots of it. Me personally, I'm even having trouble finding land to hunt these days. But you need to make sure you got plenty of land. Um, you know, if it's five acres or ten acres, that's not enough, guys. Coon dogs get out and hunt generally fairly deep, several hundred yards. Um, you know, most of the time, I don't like to turn loose on a property that's not at least 50 acres. And uh, you need to also make sure you got plenty of land with plenty of coons on it. And if it's not your land, if it's not game land, make sure the landowners give you the permission to be on there so sum it all up guys spend the money and get you the dog that you want get you a collar and lead that can identify your dog and help you getting out of the woods 
Find you a good quality light, whether it's Walmart or more than one professional brands. Get you a good quality tracking system, whether it's something new or something used off Facebook. And make sure you got plenty of hunting land. If you got all three of them, guys, you're off to a great start. And before too long, you're going to be tree and coon. So I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I answer them best I can. If you like this, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and please tell your friends about us we would appreciate it here in nightlife kennel we're just trying to help entertain educate and involve houndsmen one video at a time so we love you we appreciate you until the next time tree one for me